Hey guys, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa Moment. Uh, the time has come, you guys. This Pampered Chef air fryer appliance thingy that I got for my birthday. This is going to be the first time we're using it and we're going to be making frozen french fries. So I have my little manual here um, and according to this manual, I have to do an initial test run. So plug it in, which I did. You can see it's flashing there. Um, then it says, uh, turn the wheel until the reheat indicator is lit, press the wheel and you will hear one beep. Okay. The time will blink and the temperature will be so solidly lit. Turn the wheel counterclockwise to set the time for three minutes. Press the wheel. You will hear three beeps. The time will be solidly displayed and the countdown begins. Halfway through the cycle, you'll hear a series of beeps reminding you to switch the cooking trays when cooking. When time ends, you will hear three beeps and ends will be displayed. The heat will turn off and the fan will remain on for 30 seconds to help cool the unit down. So let's do that, shall we? Um, so I've already forgotten the first instruction. Okay, turn the wheel until the reheat indicator is lit. So um, you can see here we've got air fry, bake, roast, rotisserie, reheat, and dehydrate. So we're going to turn this. Okay, reheat. There it is. Uh, push it once, I believe it said. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, here, one beep. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, and then we want to turn it counterclockwise until it says three minutes. Yes, and then we're going to uh, press the wheel for three beeps. Three beeps. I hear it on. Um, let's just make sure there was nothing. I'm just going to open it real quick. Yes, it's fine. You know what? We can actually... Wow, it's already getting hot, guys. I'm going to take this out real quick these two trays because we're using the basket so it automatically starts up again on its own so that's awesome okay so that's it it does you can hear the air there is a light as well I guess exciting so we're just going to let that um, run for the three minutes as the initial test oh see you hear that beep that means to rotate that reminds you to rotate so if I had the two trays in there if I was cooking food on these trays um, that beeping they, they say that to rotate your trays throughout the cooking process and that helps it cook evenly so that's why those beeps are there so we're going to let this run. It's already down to two minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to um, stick our uh, French fries in this basket. So this is what they use here. It's got this. So it opens here. I'm going to stick my fries in there. Um, it's got on the end these two little things here that are going to stick in so the basket rotates and then we're going to cook our French fries. And uh, we're also going to make some burgers, um, but because I'm going to be using french fries in here, I'm going to be doing burgers in my Tupperware Micro Pro Grill. So I'm going to get those going while we wait. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys. So it has beeped three times. It says end. You can hear the fan still going, and there's an indicator light to tell us the fan is still going. That will last for 30 seconds just to help cool the inside. And the fan is done. We can open it. Ooh, you can feel the heat in there. Definitely heats up. Okay. We're going to take our little basket here. I'm gonna bring it over here. Uh, I've got my french fries in here with my frozen burgers. Um, some people may say, oh, you shouldn't put french fries in with your frozen burgers because of contamination, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we are vegetarian in this family, so these are not real meat burgers, so it's okay. Don't come for me in the comments. Okay, let me grab, um, there we go. Okay, so as far as I know, 
We're just gonna grab these french fries and we're gonna stick them in this basket. I tried to see if we we're supposed to put oil on them or all or anything like that. Um, I did see videos where people were putting oil on the french fries, but those were homemade french fries. These ones are frozen. These are Cavendish frozen french fries. Um, so they already kind of have, you know, a bit of, as I drop my french fries everywhere, a bit of um, coating on them, I guess, if you will. So I don't know. Uh, how many do I stick in here? I don't know. I mean, there's a family of three, but my daughter and husband don't want that many. I don't know, guys. This is the first time I'm doing this, and I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's so hard to tell the basket, right? Like, when you put them out on, like, a baking tray, you can kind of, you know, see, oh, is that enough? Is that not enough? I don't know if this is going to be enough. We're going to put a few more. I mean, they're french fries, right? Who doesn't love french fries? Okay. I'm gonna say that's probably, well, there. We're gonna say that's good. We're going to close this up. It just snaps down, okay? Um, and now we're gonna stick it into the air fryer. Now, it's gonna be hard for me to do that because I'm holding the camera, but let's see what we can do. And don't forget, we did an initial test run, so this could also be hot on the inside. We do not want to burn ourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna try to be smart about this. Now, if you look on the inside, you can see over there, that's where it's gonna go, and then on the other side as well. Okay, so it's gonna set in there. Um, it looks like it sets in here, and then you just push it in there. So I assume that side first, but I'm not sure. I also wanna see if there's any difference here on these or if they look the same. They kinda of look the same to me. One side does look shorter than the other. So maybe the short side goes in there. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna put it in, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, it's in. Uh, that was fairly easy to, to put in. Um, the only thing you wanna do is make sure that it is level. When I put it in uh, initially, it was kind of up on one side and it was not level, was not locked in place, so it would not rotate at that point. Um, so now, all we do, I believe, is we close this. Okay, now, uh, we are going to go to air fry. Okay, hang on. air fry. Okay, now it automatically comes up 25 minutes at 400. The videos that I saw turned this to 15 minutes. So we're going to, um, okay. So we're going to hit it once. And then now we can adjust the time to 15 minutes. We're gonna leave it at 400. We're gonna hit it one time. And then we're gonna hit the rotate button because we want it to rotate. Now we wanna make sure it's working. I don't know if you can see in the video, it's a bit of a shadow, but the basket is rotating there. That's a bit of a better angle. Sorry, I know I'm a reflecting there, but you can see it's rotating. So I think that's it guys. Um, We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out, number one, if it cooks. Number two, um, how much of a mess it makes. Number three, how easy it was. And also number four, how easy this thing is gonna be to clean because I'm a little concerned because like all the racks and the basket are like this little mesh and I can just envision food sticking to that and making a horrible mess. Now it does say it's dishwasher safe. So fingers crossed that this uh, cleans okay, but don't worry. You'll be coming along for the ride the whole way. So you'll know exactly my thoughts on the Pampered Chef air fryer. Okay guys, it says it's done. That was 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I did manage to get my burgers made. How did I get burgers made in 15 minutes, are you asking? The Micropro Grill, of course. This is from Tupperware. This actually goes in the microwave. Um, it's dirty because I just cooked burgers in it. But um, it's amazing and it cooks your food super fast. And I love it. But that's another story. So the fan is now ended. Now, um, to get the basket out, they've included this 
little tool. Um, not really sure how to do it. I think you just kind of put it under and you see how it kind of goes down there on the ends. I think you put it under and you literally lift it out. Now it's going to be hot. So where are we going to stick it once we take it out? Well, I've seen people put it like on a glass bowl. Here's the problem. Here's the, here's the problem, friends. Um, we're a Tupperware house. So all of my bowls are plastic. <laughs> so I don't think I have a glass bowl. So I might just have to get a glass plate or um, maybe a uh, silicone uh, trivet and put it on there. But I'm not going to attempt doing that while holding the phone using a tool I've never used before um, and having an accident where I lose all my french fries. So I will be back in a moment uh, once I get it in a secure spot and um, then we'll talk about it. But I will open it so we can have a peek. Now you can probably see there's steam. While it was cooking, steam was also coming out of the sides here. I was like, oh God, please don't be on fire. Um, they just, on first look, I mean, they look golden. They look cooked. You can see uh, there is some crumbs on that drip tray at the bottom. So yay, thank gosh there's a drip tray. Um, but I will be back in just a moment. Okay, we have success, it's out. This was actually very easy to use. These just literally go in there and then underneath on both sides and it allows you to pick it up and move it. So this tool is amazing, thank you for including that. Um, now it's hot so don't be touching the basket with your bare fingers everybody. Let me grab my oven mitt, okay. Um, we're going to rotate it so I can get to the opening of the basket. Right here. We're going to pop it open. And there's our french fries, guys. They look golden brown. They look, they look done. They look tasty. Uh, let me grab some and just see. I mean, they look done. I'm going to try one. You know what? That's a little one. Let's get, let's get a decent one here. Let's try a decent one. So let's see if this is cooked all the way through and if it's good. It's hot. You guys, it's cooked. Mmm. Oh wow, you guys, these are good. I can see this being addicting. Fresh hot french fries in 15 minutes. No need to preheat the oven. No need to cook for 10 minutes, then flip, then cook another 10 minutes in the oven. Oh no, this is gonna be dangerous. Anyway, that's it for now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking out the Pampered Chef air fryer. And don't forget, it's also an oven. It bakes, it roasts, it rotisseries, it reheats, and it dehydrates. Stay tuned for upcoming videos where we test out the other features of the Pampered Chef air fryer. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.